I think this is one of those types of individuals where he managed to eke out, just barely pass every exam and do it. Frankly, it is shocking that somebody of this nature uh, actually has a, a, a PhD uh, because of the egregious errors that one finds on almost every page of anything he's ever written. You I know, mean, he has that kind of dogmatic style that he yeah, does yeah, that course. he then denies, by the way, um, which this is my only, I, I love Dr. Qadi, actually. Uh, I, I used so, to actually be, So do I. <laughs> I, I He's one of my beloveds. I mean, honestly, I, I used to consider him my sheikh. I didn't know okay. him personally at that time, but I just uh, like really followed. This was like, we're talking about 15 years ago. But um, the criticism I have, the, 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 the criticism I have is the dogmatic style. So, for example, when he recently responded to Daniel Brubacher and... You, you had a video on it. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the tone of voice, the yeah. style, and he says, I never do that. Well, you honestly always do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and whenever he talks to somebody who he thinks is beyond the pale, mm -hmm. he talks to them very roughly. Um, so even when he had the debate with Osama Hassan on evolution, he talked to him like he was garb like Osama Hassan was garbage. And even even his arguments against Daniel, Daniel Brubacher, Honestly, so I'm critical of Daniel, Daniel, sorry, Daniel, I'm saying as if he's Muslim, Daniel Brubacher, is yeah. that my criticism of him is that he is the audience that he has, the venues that he speaks at, he has an agenda that's comical. And the issue, but I got to Brubacher, he is very courteous. I, yeah. I post uh, comments on his thing. And honestly, he responded back with great, great courtesy. And I do in the sense that it was such a nice guy. Yeah. It, should, it should. Oh, you see. No. If, he, if, yeah. if he was such a nice guy, he wouldn't be palling around with such hateful uh, mm. Christian polemicists who are, like you said rightfully in your podcast, in your uh, video, they're just the Muhammad hijabs. They're the equivalents of them, basically. Mm. That's what they are. So if he really was... Such a nice guy he would, but any, but at least he has that kind, courteous, respectful style. Meanwhile, calling people those names that he called them, the ignoramuses, fools. And by the way, many of the mistakes that he pointed to, I have to be very honest. Yeah, sure. A graduate student can make those mistakes easily. Mm -hmm. Even a even a doctoral, even a, a professor can make many of, of course, those mistakes. Of course, of course. This is just between you know trying to make the person invalidate the arguments by pointing mm -hmm. to. I, I, what I, what I was the term? Uh, ultra crepidarian. Ultra crepidarian. <laughs> you ultra crepidarians. <laughs> and what's this always mentioning the GRE and SAT? I, I don't understand this nonsense. But so please, do you understand again why I have never had the patience to respond to such imbecility? Frankly, it is demeaning to my time, to my persona, to have to even get involved with people like these. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to not use, you know, vulgar words. I mean, what do I, what do I say? Arrogant nincompoops? You know what I mean? SubhanAllah. You know, actually, there, there is a word that comes to mind. I mean, it's still in my head from my GR, GRE days, almost uh, 20 years ago, I took the GRE. And um, there's, a, there's a word there. What is it? Uh, ultra crepidarian. Ultra crepidarian. That's the word. Look it up. Ultra crepidarian. Uh, if you wanted to debunk my work, you would come and say, no, Brubaker is wrong. There's not really a correction in that manuscript. He's uh, incorrect in noting that there is something there. Or you would say, no, this is clearly a mistake. Now, some people try to do that, and that's that's fine. And you can say in each individual case, this is clearly just a scribal mistake, and there's nothing to see here. And, um, you know, you can try to do that. But to come and do these things of saying you shouldn't listen to Brubaker because he doesn't know what he's talking about because he doesn't know Arabic, um, that is, um, I think that's uh, that's just smoke and mirrors. So... Um, you can make of that what you want, but uh, that is my response to that. Now, let's see, what else did he, um, what else did he say? It was the Arabic issue. Yeah, it was really, it was the translation. And anyway, my panel, uh, the interesting thing about that, that you may not have realized or known is that uh, I'm told Yasser Khadi was originally on my panel and was uh, meant to be giving a paper alongside me. And for some reason, um, he uh, did not wind up being on that panel. And I don't know what happened. Although I do um, recognize that the events of this summer intervened probably between the time that we all presented our paper proposals and 
and obviously the time of presenting, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Uh, but um, at any rate, uh, yeah, uh, Yasser Kadi was meant to be on the panel that I was presenting on, and I was alongside Marine Van Putin, um, Haitham Sidki, and um, the discussants for the panel were uh, Alba Fideli and Shadni Nasser. So that was a very good uh, group of people. Um, our very own Asma Hilali, Dr. Asma Hilali, was uh, is current president of the International Chronic Studies Association, and she gave the presidential address.